Hello everyone. Today we are having another video on learning Turkish language and here we have the verb no with all the tenses and all the conjugations and structures and uh, this verb is very important. If you do not know how to use this verb, you will not be able to uh, learn the verb can. So, this is something that you should learn first. Then, on the next step, we are going to learn to, uh, how to say what we are able to do and what we can't do and other things. You know, the verb can is very important, but before that, you should know how to do the conjugations of the verb no. Okay, let's go through the lesson and please stay till the end of the video to see what's going on um, and please make your pens and papers ready because you're going to uh, take notes and review your notes several times so you will really learn how to use this verb and also you will get better in um, Turkish conjugation structures. Okay, uh, we have the verb no as bilmek, uh, which this verb means, it means no, it means understand, it means how to do something, it means recognize, sometimes notice, sometimes being able to do something. So it has different meanings and as we will go through the lesson, you will understand that which structures actually changes the meaning of this verb. So get ready to take notes. How to make conjugations? Okay, first we need the root and then we add the conjugation suffix. How do we get the root? We just remove the make and mock part of the verb here. We have the infinitive. We just take make away and then we have the root. We will go through this to see how it is done. We have present continuous and by present continuous I mean like um, the way we use this verb in a way that we use present continuous. Okay, in this structure which is called Shimdiki Zaman here is how we have the verb. Ben biliyorum. Sen biliyorsun. O bu şu biliyor. Like he, she, it knows. Whatever. Um, I have used he or sometimes she for this um, o bu şu. Um, actually, bu and şu is not used for human. So we have o which is used for human and we have it for he and she. Bu and shu stands for it. Uh, I hope you will understand. I, I don't need to tell it every time. Okay, so let's continue. Biz biliyoruz. Siz biliyorsunuz. Onlar biliyorlar. Okay, here we have the negative form. The negative form of ben biliyorum, sen biliyorsun, o biliyor, biz biliyoruz, siz biliyorsunuz, onlar biliyorlar is ben bilmiyorum, sen bilmiyorsun, o bilmiyor, biz bilmiyoruz, siz bilmiyorsunuz, onlar Bilmiyorlar. So whenever you're going to say, I don't know, she doesn't know, he doesn't know, you go with this. You have an m sound here. 
For practicing, you can say biliyorum, bilmiyorum. Biliyorsun, bilmiyorsun. Biliyor, bilmiyor. Biliyoruz, bilmiyoruz. Biliyorsunuz, bilmiyorsunuz. Biliyorlar, bilmiyorlar. This is um, an easier way to memorize this with the conjugation. Okay. For the question form, uh, here we have Ben biliyor muyum? Sen biliyor musun? O biliyor mu? Biz biliyor muyuz? Siz biliyor musunuz? Onlar biliyorlar mı? Let me read it once again. Ben biliyor muyum? Sen biliyor musun? O biliyor mu? Biz biliyor muyuz? Siz biliyor musunuz? Onlar biliyorlar mı? Here we have the negative question form of present continuous. The negative form is going to be Ben bilmiyor muyum? Sen bilmiyor musun? O bilmiyor mu? Biz bilmiyor muyuz? Siz bilmiyor musunuz? Onlar bilmiyorlar mı? Okay. These are used uh, in daily conversations. Like you think that I don't know. This is the way they use it. Like ben bilmiyor muyum means that do you think that I don't know? It gives such an attitude to the meaning of the sentence. Okay, so we have genish zaman. I like to call it simple present. Uh, to make it easier for English speakers uh, to understand. Okay, here we have Ben bilirim. Sen bilirsin. O bilir. Biz biliriz. Siz bilirsiniz. Onlar bilirler. Okay. As you see in the translation, I have put this kind of unseen or less visible what to do part because this tense of um, Turkish when it is uh, used for uh, the verb bil gives a kind of attitude like uh, like I know what to do or when you say sen bilirsin, you use this sentence in a way that you know what to do and I'm not going to interfere. Like, I don't care what you do. That gives a kind of attitude like this. Um, or o bilir. When they say o bilir, it means that he knows what to do. Don't worry. Okay, so there is a here somebody knows what to do kind of meaning uh, inside this structure, okay? So I prefer to put it less invisible, so you could understand that, yeah, this is the translation, kind of, but it has this meaning behind. Okay, the negative form of symbol present uh, here, ban bilmam, Sen bilmezsin, o bilmez, biz bilmeyiz, siz bilmezsiniz, onlar bilmezler. Okay, uh, as you see, I have put this, this suffix of um, negative form in the black color and the conjugation suffixes are in red. Um, what I was going to say is that when we use the negative form of genish zaman or simple present, this is something uh, that will give a kind of a permanent attitude to the sentence. Like uh, ban bilmam means that 
I don't know and I will never know. It gives a kind of never and uh, meaning behind a sentence. Or I don't know at all. Or I have no idea about it at all. Okay, so it um, it's a bit um, how can I say? You know, it it gives a more um, harder kind of negativity. Like it, it is not for a short time. Like obilmaz, obilmaz means he doesn't know at all. He doesn't know anything. Okay. So yeah, it has that kind of attitude behind. Okay, here we have the positive question form of Genish Saman or Simple Present. Ben bilir miyim? Sen bilir misin? O bilir mi? Biz bilir miyiz? Siz bilir misiniz? Onlar bilirler mi? Okay. Uh, this one, I mean, this kind of structure may not be used for uh, some of the subject, like, for example, for ban or, uh, I don't know, it is less likely used for, um, says, you know, it, it rarely happens. Uh, this is, again, here we have this what to do, and I, I can add, like, how to do something or being able to do something so when we say for example sen bilir misin it means that um, do you know how to do this thing that is the subject at the time of the conversation like do you know how to do it can you do it here uh, bilir has a kind of um, meaning uh, which is close to can like, do you know what to do? Do you know how to do? This kind of uh, uh, meaning behind the sentence is um, hidden. Okay, so that's why I have added this what to do in a less visible color. So you will just uh, understand what's going on here. So this kind of structure has this kind of meaning behind Okay, here we have the negative question form. Ben bilmez miyim? Sen bilmez misin? O bilmez mi? Biz bilmez miyiz? Siz bilmez misiniz? Okay, this bilmez. This is this has to be misiniz. Let me. Misiniz. Okay, this must be red. Yeah, sorry guys. Okay. There we go. Okay, biz bilmez miyiz? Siz bilmez misiniz? Onlar bilmezler mi? Okay, here... There's another kind of attitude behind this. Here we have ban bilmez miyim. This sentence is usually uh, used in a way that, like, yeah, exactly what I have written here. Like, don't I know what's going on? Or you think I don't know what's going on? Like, you think I don't know anything? That gives that kind of uh, meaning behind the sentence. Or sen bilmez misin? Like, don't you know what's going on? Don't you know how to do the whatever which is going on? Um, yeah. Here we have this kind of meaning with this structure. Okay. Let's go through simple past. Uh, we call it geç mi zaman. Ben bildim. Sen bildin. O bildi. Biz bildik. 
Siz bildiniz. Onlar bildiler. Okay. For simple past in English, um, you know, uh, I should have, uh, I mean, you, you were expecting prob prob probably uh, that I could translate it to I knew, you knew. Uh, but here in Geçmiş Zaman, in the structure of Geçmiş Zaman, we don't have that meaning of simple past. Okay? So when we say ben bildim, it means that uh, I happen to know or I, I, I got the answer or I was the one who got the answer. Actually, this D must be, uh, oh, okay, red. So forgive me for just bildim din di, dik diniz diler is the suffix actually. So here we have I happen to know, you happen to know. It is simple past, but it doesn't mean I knew. Okay, um, like o bildi means that he got what was going on. He understood what was going on or he learned what was going on. Um, it gives such, an, uh, such a meaning to this structure, okay? So, it does, although Geçmiş Zaman is simple past for Turkish, but the meaning of this verb in this structure does not necessarily, actually, does not mean at all what we um, perceive as simple past in English. Okay, let's go on. Okay, simple past, the negative form. Um, yeah, this sense, actually, this structure is not very common. Uh, they don't use this. And you can even ask your Turkish friend. I mean, this is not used like I didn't know. Um, this is used mostly um actually it is not used i can say that if they want to say that i didn't know they use in a structure that would mean i couldn't know at the time okay so this structure although grammatically is correct it is not used that much so we have okay let me read it uh ban bilmedim Sen bilmedin, o bilmedi, biz bilmedik, siz bilmediniz, onlar bilmediler. Uh, maybe this structure may use in a school or a classroom, like I didn't know the answer or I didn't happen to know the answer. Okay, but actually uh, if they want to, say that um like i didn't know they will say bilemedim and that goes to the can and could and um things like that that uh, you may uh, see it in another video uh when i use um, i'm going to teach can but yeah this is structure will, will be used in a way that i didn't know the answer okay like ban bilmedim Sen bildin. Like, I didn't know the answer, you did. Okay, so let's go to the other one. Here we have past continues. I want to call it past continues. They call it şimdiki zamanın hikayesi. So here we have the suffix your and we have... This is the continuous uh, form of it, actually, and this is doom, um, the past, um, the suffix that shows that it is the past tense. So we have ben biliyordum, means I knew, sen biliyordun, you knew, o biliyordu, he knew, 
Biz biliyorduk. We knew. Siz biliyordunuz. You knew. Onlar biliyorlardı. They knew. Okay. The structure for any other verb even would go with past continuous actually, but the meaning is like the verb no in simple past. Okay? Like I I knew it at the time. We can say that. Let's go to the negative form. Here we have not the negative form. Here we have the positive form. Beside we have the negative form. Okay, got confused. Um, so we have ban bilmiyordum. Sen bilmiyordun. O bilmiyordu. Biz bilmiyorduk. Siz bilmiyordunuz. Onlar bilmiyorlardı. As you see, I have put this um, positive and negative form just um, to show that here we have a m sound that makes the difference. Okay, and it means I didn't know, you didn't know, they didn't know. Okay, you know the rest of it. And for practicing, as I said before, we have like ben biliyordum, ben bilmiyordum. Sen biliyordun, sen bilmiyordun. This is the way you can practice it. And uh, this is a tense that is commonly used for this verb. Okay, the positive question form. Ben biliyor muydum? Did I know? Sen biliyor muydun? O biliyor muydu? Biz biliyor muyduk? Siz biliyor muydunuz? Onlar biliyorlar mıydı? Okay. I hope it's quite clear. Let's go to the negative question form. Ben bilmiyor muydum? Like, didn't I know? Or you thought that I didn't know? Sen bilmiyor muydun? Didn't you know? O bilmiyor muydu? Didn't he know? Biz bilmiyor muyduk? Didn't we know? Or you thought that we didn't know? Siz bilmiyor muydunuz? Didn't you know? Onlar bilmiyorlar mıydı? Didn't they know? Okay. Now let's go to... Another one, future, simple, gelecek zaman. Ben bileceğim, sen bileceksin, o bilecek, biz bileceğiz, siz bileceksiniz, onlar bilecekler. It's quite clear, right? Okay. And... Let's go to the negative form. We have future symbol, the negative form. Ben bilmeyeceğim. Sen bilmeyeceksin. O bilmeyecek. Biz bilmeyeceğiz. Siz bilmeyeceksiniz. Onlar bilmeyecekler. Depending on the conversation and the subject, which is... Uh, being talked in, in the conversation, uh, you may use this tense or you may rarely use it actually. But anyway, you're going to learn it. Uh, the question form, the positive question form. Ben bilecek miyim? Sen bilecek misin? O bilecek mi? Biz bilecek miyiz? Siz bilecek misiniz? Onlar bilecekler mi? Okay. Now the negative question form. Ben bilmeyecek miyim? Or um, like it may sound like won't I know? Or you think that I will not know? This kind of 
this kind of meaning, this kind of attitude is behind this. Sen bilmeyecek misin? Like, won't you know? Or won't you understand? Or won't you get what's going on? Okay? O bilmeyecek mi? Biz bilmeyecek miyiz? Siz bilmeyecek misiniz? Onlar bilmeyecekler mi? Okay. And we have a tense which is called gelecek zamanın hikayesi. Um, birleşik zamanlı fiil. So this is two mixed structure of different tenses. Um, which usually means supposed to or would. I mean, in the meaning, you will have this kind of uh, meaning, actually. So here we have, ben bilecektim. Like, I was supposed to know, or I would know. Sen bilecektin. O bilecekti. Biz bilecektik. Siz bilecektiniz. Onlar bileceklerdi. Okay, this is not commonly used, but uh, if you are going to um, give such a meaning to your sentence, this is the way you will use for the way bill. And this bill, um, it is rarely used in this way because the meaning of supposed to actually um, I can say it doesn't exist in Turkish language, but they use the attitude of that gives this meaning to the sentence in some kind of way. This is one. The question form. Ben bilecek miydim? Sen bilecek miydin? O bilecek miydi? Biz bilecek miydik? Siz bilecek miydiniz? Onlar bilecekler miydi? Okay. Now the negative form. Ben bilmeyecektim. Sen bilmeyecektin. O bilmeyecekti. Biz bilmeyecektik. Siz bilmeyecektiniz. Onlar bilmeyeceklerdi. Okay. This obviously means wouldn't. Here we go. Now we have the negative form of question for wouldn't. Ben bilmeyecek miydim? Sen bilmeyecek miydin? O bilmeyecek miydi? Biz bilmeyecek miydik? Siz bilmeyecek miydiniz? Onlar bilmeyecekler miydi? Um, hold on. This is miydi. Okay. Um, I can add that uh, here, okay, we have, for example, ben bilmeyecek miydim? Um, it has a kind of meaning like, you thought that I wouldn't know if so and so and so and so. That would mean such a thing. Okay, next. Um, we have duyulan or öğrenilen geçmiş zaman and we have this mish kind of meaning uh, at the end i have an answer i have an example uh, to make it more understandable actually but here i preferred to uh, call this present perfect uh, which turkish people actually um, believe that there is nothing like present perfect in their language. 
But as I am an uh, Azeri Turk, actually, uh, I believe that we have this um, present perfect with uh, mish suffix. Actually, Turkish uh, of Turkey also uh, has this kind of uh, usage. I mean, the kind of way that um, they use mish for present perfect kind of meaning. Okay, but I don't know why when it comes to discussing about grammar, they don't accept it, but they use it in that way uh, in a uh, daily basis. So if you have any Turkish friend which wants to discuss about this, I'm ready to discuss about it. They have present perfect and they use mish for it. Okay. The other Turks use it more, much more um, in a way that it sounds like present perfect. Turkish people do it less, but they do. So I can prove it. <laughs> okay, let's go through it. Ban um, bilmişim. Here it gives this kind of attitude or this kind of meaning behind the sentence. It means that like people say that I have understood. Like somebody um, talks about me that once I have understood something. Okay. Rarely this structure is used in this way, but um, this is structure is used for many other verbs, I mean, on daily basis. But for the verb bil, uh, you may rarely uh, hear it, but only to just mention the grammar structure here, I have this here for you. Ben bilmişim, sen bilmişsin, o bilmiş, biz bilmişiz, siz bilmişsiniz, onlar bilmişler. Okay, by the way, here we have a dot. I've forgotten. Um, no problem. If you're taking note, please correct it. Okay. Um, to make this structure understandable, uh, I gave this answer. That this may be used in such a situation when someone says, Bütün cevapları bilmişler. Here it means... They, they have understood all the answers or they have answered like they have answered to all what they were going to answer. Okay. So it is um, usually used for giving an answer, understanding and giving an answer, finding an answer, uh, actually like finding out an answer. This is the way that this structure and this kind of meaning is used. Uh, here, we have the question form of it. Ben bilmiş miyim? It means, uh, have I got the point? Like, could I un like, did I understand what was happening? Or did I understand the answer? Or did I get the answer right? It has this kind of uh, meaning. Sen bilmiş misin? Have you got the point? Or... Yeah. Like, like could you find the answer? O bilmiş mi? Or did he find the answer? Biz bilmiş miyiz? Have we got the point? Or could we find the answer? Or did we find the answer? Or did we get you the answer you wanted? It gives such kind of meaning. Siz bilmiş misiniz? Onlar bilmişler mi? Okay, uh, here I use 
good because yeah it doesn't give the um clear meaning but bill also doesn't have a clear meaning it may mean understand it may mean finding an answer here in this structure and it may mean um like something that you knew before okay so um as ambiguous is bill here uh, so the gets verb is here okay so i hope it was not that confusing <laughs> well i did my best but this verb is this way present perfect negative form i have called it this way the question form the negative form question ban bilmemiş miyim like haven't i got the point sen bilmemiş misin o bilmemiş mi biz bilmemiş miyiz siz bilmemiş misiniz onlar bilmemişler mi okay this structure I can tell you that you were hardly ever come across with this structure, with this verb. Okay? But if you come across, here's the meaning. But I am sure that you wouldn't because um, bil is not a verb that Turkish people would use it with long uh, suffixes like this. Okay? They, they use it in a very short form. Uh, kind of structure rather than putting it in different suffix roles. So don't um, stick on this one. Uh, okay, here we have a kind of a structure which I have an answer, sorry, a, an example at the end to make it more understandable. But I can tell you that this one is also rarely used. Ben bilecekmişim. Like I should have known. Like people say that I should have known. Sen bilecekmişsin. You should have known. Or um, like people say that you should have known. Because we have mish here. When we have mish, um, Turkish people have this attitude behind mish. That this is not somebody. Uh, this is not somebody that something that somebody will know for sure. This is like somebody or some people are gossiping about. Okay, so whenever you hear "mish," um, rather than having that present perfect uh, kind of meaning, it has this gossip attitude behind. Okay, obilecek uh, mish. He should have known. Biz bilecekmişiz. Siz bilecekmişsiniz. Onlar bileceklermiş. Yeah. It is not exactly like I should have known, you should have known. It is mostly like they say that you should have, you should better know about it. Okay. As I have in the example here, we have her şeyi kendin bilecekmişsin. Uh, this means that they say, like people say, that you should know everything by yourself. Kendin, here the word kendin, the word kendin means by yourself. Uh, that you should know everything by yourself or you should have known everything by yourself. In whatever. Okay, yeah, this one is not also commonly used, I can tell you. Ah, uh, you wouldn't have known here. Ben bilmeyecekmişim. Sen bilmeyecekmişsin, o bilmeyecekmiş. Biz bilmeyecekmişiz. Siz bilmeyecekmişsiniz. Onlar bilmeyeceklermiş. This is also not commonly used. As I told you, uh, the verb bil is not used with long suffixes like this. But still, whenever 
they want to want or they want to put this kind of meaning like wouldn't have they may use it okay they may use it you can use it if you're comfortable with if it's not difficult for you but if it is very difficult just learn it on the surface and don't go through it much Past perfect. This is what I call past perfect because I believe this is the way they use it. But they call it do you learn get me zamanın hikayesi, which means the story of what is heard about past. Can this long thing be a name of a tense? Well, it's very difficult even for Turkish students. I mean, when I ask them, they just look at me like, huh? So I have to go to a Turkish teacher, actually, or somebody who can search on, uh, like, Google for me to see what I'm going to present to you is right or wrong. Because, yeah, look at the tense. But anyway, I call it past for perfect. You call it past perfect too. Okay, that's easier. Ben bilmiştim. So whenever we have mish and the past, I prefer to call it past perfect. Ben bilmiştim. It definitely means I had known. Like I had got the answer. Or I had understood. Or I had found out. Okay? Sen bilmiştin, you had known this story. O bilmişti, biz bilmiştik, siz bilmiştiniz, onlar bilmişlerdi. Okay, now let's go to the negative form. Ben bilmemiştim, I hadn't known. Sen bilmemiştin, o bilmemişti, biz bilmemiştik, siz bilmemiştiniz. Onlar bilmemişlerdi. Okay. This definitely goes with past perfect kind of um what can I say? Meaning. Yeah. Oh, did I? Okay. Um as you notice, I didn't put this tense um, into question form because they don't really use it. I mean, that would be an structure which is only grammatically is correct, but they will never ever use it. Like if, if I put this into question, it was going to be ben bilmemiş miydim? Yes, it is correct, but you will never need it because nobody use it, so you don't need to understand that. And you are not going to use it because they will look like you like, huh? Okay, so I didn't put this uh, last structures into question form, whether positive or negative. Uh, yeah, I hope you uh, learn this verb um, as well as you need it, because you're going to need it for the verb can. And please don't hesitate to ask questions. Uh, late or soon, I'm going to answer one day. I hope I answer you as soon as I can. But if I don't, one day I'm going to answer. So, yes. I hope you have taken your notes. Have a nice day. Good practice. Good luck.